cookies! Welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking and welcome to a new cooking video. Today I would like to talk about the fettuccine Alfredo. So we call it fettuccine Alfredo or fettuccine all'Alfredo. And it's basically a simple dish flavored by butter and parmigiano cheese. So it's nothing like this guy Joey is cooking. This dish is made by using a ton of cheese, around right about 240 grams per person. This really gives a creamy look to the dish. Fettuccine are pulled for the first time in the 15th century by Maestro Martino da Como. He's a master chef from the north of Italy who lived in the Rome area. So the original name of the dish was Macaroni Romaneschi. But the name got changed so quickly as this recipe became famous all over the world. So Fettuccine are fed were rediscovered around right about 1908 five centuries after Martino da Como and they're very famous and they're very common in Italian American restaurants. Well the recipe is not the original recipe but it's rather a variation of the original recipe and I have nothing to do with it but now we're gonna see what Joe is doing and is doing a mess. The changes consist in the using of cream instead of butter. Some people have even added chicken breast and all of these ingredients have nothing to do with the original recipe. So for an Italian fettuccine alfredo is pasta with butter or pasta with butter and parmigiano cheese. A pasta that is very common among children. Despite of its Italian origins, fettuccine alfredo is a dish that is unknown in Italy. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. One of my favorite Italian dishes, cream, butter, cheese. Absolutely one of my favorite recipes and one of my favorite memories of Italy and my aunt, my aunt's recipe. So we reproduced that recipe for you today. Oh yeah, memories of Italy, huh, come on. And we've got a half a cup of Parmesan and a half a cup of Romano cheese. Uh, and we've got one stick of butter. We're gonna use some olive oil, salt and pepper and so forth. So well guys, you can tell that all of these ingredients are not the original ones. So it's just doing it, it, its version of, it, of the original recipe. It's not Italian, you know. It's not even Italian American in my opinion. Watch this up, okay? So we're gonna add some butter. So this is unsalted butter. And you know, the, the reason you wanna use unsalted is you can kinda of control the salt. Well, now you see that it's adding butter and the olive oil. Doesn't make sense. You either use butter or you use olive oil. Mixing both of them together, it doesn't make sense. Romano, Parmesan cheese, and other ingredients, they're filled with a lot of salt. So the concern is sometimes it might taste too salty. So I always put salt. Well, if you know how to use Parmigiano cheese, there's no risk of being salty, you know? My question is, are you using real Italian cheese? That's the main question. And we're gonna mix that up. We're gonna add some nutmeg. So then- Then again, nutmeg, why? Still, it's an ingredient that it doesn't really make sense. Why are you using nutmeg? Why? Then we want to add the alcohol, okay? And the alcohol, again, is going to allow some of those other flavors to get extracted. So we're going to add about a third of a cup. Well, the use of alcohol is quite common in, in many dishes, but in this case, it really doesn't make sense to me because there's no reason to add white wine to what? You're flavoring what? With what? You know, with olive oil and butter and pepper and all garlic and blah blah blah. This really, this is a mess. To make a sauce, it's just getting like a little bit thick. Isn't that nice? Oh, I'll tell you, the smell in here is absolutely delicious. Well, it's not nice. Let me tell you, Bobby. For the Italian. So when you get a, a higher end pasta and you're looking for something. Pasta has to be Italian, produced in Italy from Italian wheat. Because you guys in the States have got maybe four or five types of wheat and they're nothing um, to be compared in quality with the ones we have in Italy. And my aunt used to make uh, a pasta alfredo all the time and I'll tell you her sauce was delicious. So a couple of the, the secrets, if you will, to her sauce, one, she'd always cook it down like I'm showing you, two, she's always gonna add an egg. You had about one egg yolk. You're talking about your aunt. Your aunt from USA? Well, you need to explain this to me. Was she alive in 1908? Is she from 1908? Does she know Martino da Como? Were they friends? You see how a couple of them, I don't know if you can get that, you see how they're sticking together? So that's what's great about a pasta fork, but you always want to make sure you're paying attention because you don't want to have a cluster of pasta. They're not going to cook. Well, this is because you don't know how to cook your pasta. If you would know how to cook your pasta properly, this wouldn't happen. I'm telling you, 
When you cook your pasta guys, you need to make sure that you mix it. If you don't mix it, it's gonna stick together and it's gonna be a mess. A big, huge mess. So stir it up. If you get any of those sticking together, use that fork. It'll break it right up. Bro, it won't break anything, pal. Beautiful. And again, you got about eight to 10 minutes. Al dente means hard or semi-hard, if you will, so. Al dente, yeah, Dante Ligeris. He's a very famous guy in Italy. He's the father of Italian literature. We don't say Dante, but we say Dente. So, just so you know it, Dente. All right, so now the, the best part, we're gonna add our cheeses. So we've got a heavy half a cup here, if you will, of Parmesan, and we've got a heavy cup of Romano. So remember, the Romano is gonna be from the goat cheese. Romano, when you say Romano, I think you're talking about Pecorino Romano. Pecorino Romano is not made only out of goat milk, but also out of lambs. So I wouldn't cook them together, you know? They've got a different taste, you know? Pecorino Romano, it appears to be kind of strong, it's got a strong taste, kind of spicy taste, if you wish, with the Parmigiano cheese. It, it, it's really hard to explain, but really, the two tastes together, the two flavors together don't go well. That's my opinion, you know? Sauce, and you can strain it, but in this case, I'm just gonna use that pasta fork, and I wanna stir it in quick here because I don't want it all sticking together. I highly recommend you to strain your pasta, don't do like that, it's gonna take you forever to cook. Forever and ever. That is absolutely delicious. You know, the cream, the butter. Well, I don't believe you. I don't think it's good. Uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been great. It's been great to debunk this specific topic because people um, have no idea what real Italian food is all about. Thank you so much to my patrons for their great support. And I hope that you guys will choose to support me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and remember, Feel sad? Better call the sad. Bye.